Welcome, I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in Los Angeles, and today we are going to make an amaretto chocolate sauce. Let's get started. We will need three quarters of a cup of half and half, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of butter, five ounces of chocolate chips. These are semi-sweet chocolate chips. And we're also gonna need two tablespoons of amaretto, which is an almond flavored liqueur. You can buy a brand name if you like, a really high-end name that will cost you a fair amount of money and use the rest of the bottle as a cordial, which is often just a small little glass of amaretto that you wind up sipping at the end of a meal, often called a digestif. To begin with our sauce, we're going to take our half and half and start to warm it up in a pan over a, a medium high heat. Going to add in our butter and our sugar. And we're gonna let this melt. And we're even gonna bring it up to a boil. One of the things you'll notice here is that the milk, or the half and half in this case, is gonna start to boil around the rim of the pan. I'm gonna stir in this butter and get it to melt. The sugar is gonna melt at the same time. Once I start to get a nice bubbling going into this pan, I will go ahead and add in the chocolate and basically stir the chocolate around until it gets melted. Really important that uh, as the sugar is melting, it's gonna have a tendency to wanna settle to the bottom of the pan. It's not a bad idea to get your spatula and go along all over the bottom of the pan and even up on the sides. If you're noticing that, for example, here I'm getting a little bit of caramelizing, some butter actually got up to the side of the pan and it's starting to turn golden brown, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the heat a little bit and let this start to bubble. And I'm actually gonna cook it at a low boil for a couple of minutes. And what I'm looking for is a little bit of bubbling. I can actually feel with my spatula that the sugar is melted, so I don't feel any kind of granular quality against the bottom of the pan. So I can actually stop stirring. The more you stir, the more you're actually gonna cool off the sauce because you wind up disturbing the surface tension and you wind up cooling it off. So you're gonna leave that alone. And you can see very shortly, we start to bubble along here. The bubbles are gonna to start to come around the edges and then it's gonna to start to bubble up on the center of the pan too. I'm gonna to let this cook for just a couple of, uh, for about a minute or so. Spatula is uh, very important. You wanna utilize one that can really take a, a high heat this is a silicone spatula that can withstand 450 degrees. A standard rubber spatula, or if you have a spatula at home that's made out of a hard plastic, you might find that it'll actually start to melt when you wind up getting along the edges of the pan right along here. So that's not going to be ideal. You could use a wooden spoon as well, but the spatula is really great to really cover the entire bottom of the pan and along the side of the pan. So after two to three minutes have elapsed, add in our chips. Stir that in and let the hot liquid in here melt this chocolate. You could utilize a, a bar form. Really important that you wind up taking the uh, bar and break it up into chunks and then take those chunks and chop them up into really small pieces with your knife. If you wind up utilizing really big chunks inside the pan, they're not going to melt rapidly enough and you want to make sure that they get really nice and melted and you also want to make them, you want to have them melt quickly. So that's why chips come in really handy, because they have a smaller size. If it turns out that the liquid is cooling off too rapidly and the chocolate isn't melted completely, and the way to tell that is it should be absolutely smooth. It should have no lumps of chocolate in here at all. Then I can always put it back onto a low heat if I need to, just to gently reheat this. But I think we're gonna be just fine. I'm gonna stir it together. And it's gonna take just a little bit of stirring to get the half and half to blend up with the chocolate. And see when it does that, it's gonna have a really smooth appearance to it. Once I get that nice smooth look, our chocolate sauce will be finished. We're going to add in our amaretto, or almond flavored liqueur. Any kind of almond flavored liqueur will wind up doing the job just fine. You could even do a frangelico or some other kind of flavored alcohol. Stir it together and get it really well blended. I'm gonna serve this with a vanilla cupcake uh, chocolate would work well too, but I want to have the contrast of a, a simple vanilla cake with this really, really rich flavored sauce. So I'm going to wind up taking a spoon, scrape the bottom of the spoon along the side of the pan, and pour a little drop of sauce right there, and move the plate around, and do the same thing. By scraping the bottom of the spoon against the side of the pan, you're really going to cut down on the drips that you might have. Sauce right there too. And then to give me a, a little bit of a difference, I'm going to take some creme anglaise 
or vanilla sauce, a video of which you can see separately. And I'm going to take a little drop of that right into the center of the chocolate. And then I'll make a little pattern inside the sauce. What is often utilized for this is a toothpick. You're also going to need a clean towel. I'm going to start off over here and start in the center of the sauce with the uh, creme anglaise and go ahead and move out towards the outside. Pick out the pick and wipe it. Make a little starburst pattern. I'll wipe it after every dip so you get a really nice clean line like that. I could also do, uh, actually here, what I have the beginnings of is almost like a heart uh, design and that would in involve taking the pick and starting off above the uh, lighter colored sauce and just go ahead and drawing the pick right through just like that and make a little heart shape. It's actually a double heart, a little heart above a larger heart, really good for Valentine's Day. You could also take this after you wipe it clean and get into the center of the sauce and just go ahead and make a nice little random swirl like that. And this is our Amaretto chocolate sauce. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on other links so you can get other recipes. If you don't see something that interests you, email a request to requests at mahalo.com. Also be sure to subscribe so you can get lots of wonderful additional information. Thanks and I'll see you soon.